and that helps control the population. Also a trick of the trade is paper bags, wad up a bunch of paper bags, maybe paint it gray, make it look like a hornet's nest and hang it up in uh, under your fascia or on your fascia or on a fence and maybe some of these shepherd hooks that are out here in this yard to give the appearance that there is a hornet's nest around the area. That helps to deter them. Other than that, there's not a whole lot you can do unless you're just going to spray the entire property and get rid of everything on it. And we can't do that. It's not something that the honeybee keepers around the area are going to appreciate because it does leave a residue on all the flowers that these insects or these bees are going to come in to pull the pollen out to put into their, their hives and then they're going to transfer some chemicals into the hive and then and then reduce the population. So we have to be sensitive to that. So those three things are what you can do. Get help by a pest technician to dust the holes on your home or in your fence. Secondly, you can get one of those birdhouse, small birdhouse looking things where you have the insect go in, knock them out, or a makeshift hornet's nest. I wouldn't recommend getting a real hornet's nest, but a makeshift one will do and help keep the population around. Like, subscribe, hit all those buttons. Boom, 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 boom. Everything we need to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. We would appreciate your help. Thank you very much. I'm Elijah with AOF Monitor. Is that all, folks?